Hey there, we're approaching Christmas. So how about some Halloween fallout? That's right. We still have two more Halloweens. That's funny to me. Sorry. The 1997 shot on film mask. That's right, we have a couple more left over from Halloween. Not not feeling the, the YouTube love. I think we got that one thing. What's the most annoying thing creators say? I think I'm shadow banned. I think we might have got that again. Anyways, Edwin Durrell, Edward Brown, Edward Scott Brown. Are you familiar? That's the gentleman who we are here today to celebrate. He wrote this. He directed this. He is a writer, director, producer. He's had a long, cool career. He busted on the scene in the 70s. The first film he ever wrote. Talk about a home run. He did not direct or produce. He just penned it. He wrote China Girl, which we have done. When was China Girl? 1974. Now he's had an interesting career, mostly adult. He stopped to make an awesome slasher. He also, before he almost even started directing career, he also produced some horror. So I like this guy's style. In 1979, he produced a horror film, Human Experiments. Have you seen it? A journey into horror and darkness. So wrote an adult film, produced a horror picture, and then just started directing adult films until 1984 the prey do you remember that god i used to love that cover uh, when i was a child in the, the video rental store it's not human and it's got an axe i haven't seen that in forever but i remember liking it as a kid 1984 good year for horror this is the last film he wrote was 1997 and then he directed a film Seven years later, 2004, Erotic Nights, part two. The whole front is about the director. I'm fine with that. I've got one more thing to say about him. We'll say that after the film. How about this? This has six real actors in it, acting, shot on film, made by a real filmmaker. Let's watch it and I'll come back and we'll talk about it the rest. Hi, my name's Samantha Coplin, but everybody's called me Sam for as long as I can remember. I'm not even sure what came first, being a tomboy or being called Sam, but I do remember being a tree climber, and I'd hang out with my brothers, Robbie and Matt. They were part of this special club that I was never going to be a part of. I guess that's why I picked this as my Halloween costume. The other reason was Marcy. Sam was going to go as a boy, 
then I decided to go and drag. I think I make a very good looking girl. There are six of us. There's John and Marcy, Eric and Lisa, and Sam and me. We've been the best of friends for the longest time. The Six Musketeers. You smell like fresh flowers. I think something great is gonna happen at John and Marcy's Halloween party. When you're in costume on Halloween, it's like anything goes. On Halloween, all the rules are suspended. Okay, look to the side. You're supposed to look up. And then the doctor should look to the side. No, you're not, you're a lawyer. But tonight, I'm a doctor. Eric, I'm the doctor. No, you're not your Zorro. Will someone get this damn eyelash out of my eye? I'm not Zorro. I'm Don Juan. Well, you look like Zorro. Zorro is much taller. You're right. How's my makeup? You are so into that costume. Ah, hey. senor. Senorita. Oh my. Zora said that? No! It's Don Juan! Ah, there am I. Come on in. Eric and Lisa are in here. Hi, I'm Marcy, and I'm married to John. He thinks he's Don Juan, but I think he's Zora. This outfit was actually my cheerleading outfit in high school. It's true. Sam and I were cheerleaders together. We did everything together. Sam was homecoming queen our senior year. I'm not jealous. Sam won because, well, okay, I know I'm pretty, but Sam is sexy. It's like the way she walks or talks or, it's something, but I feel it, really. I love her, you know? If she were a guy, I'd probably marry her. Fantasy is one thing, but reality is just so complicated. I never even thought of this. I didn't. Are these from your private collection? Actually, I just got them from a catalog. First chance I had to use them. Why are we doing this? Oh, come on. It's Halloween. Besides, whoever wins this is a very nice bottle of champagne. Woo. Ready? All right. Get set. We'll do it the same way. Go! Go, Sam! I'm expecting some great things from this party tonight. We've all been friends for a long time. We love each other. We make each other laugh. We've helped each other move. <laughs> We've gone on vacation together. Yeah, I'm expecting some great things tonight. It's Halloween. The most beautiful lips. I'm Lisa Kyle. I'm married to Eric. I'm 26 and I teach music at Alexander Hamilton Grade School. That's what I say usually and people think, 
Okay, they know me. They said teacher married. That's me. But that's not me. I'm a million other things. Eric understands that. That's why I love him so much. I mean, why do we have to be just one thing? Maybe it's time our best friends knew something more about me. Us. Tell me, does it all fit together? Lisa, teacher, married. Margie, I have a confession to make. What is it? <laughs> it's not that easy. I've been trying to get up the nerve to tell you this for a long, long time. Come on, Sam. We're best friends. You can tell me anything. Okay. I've always wanted to kiss you. You mean kiss, like kiss on the lips? Yeah. Does that make you nervous? No. I'm the newest member of the group. I knew David, and then David and Samantha introduced me to Lisa. And we fell in love. I love Lisa because she's, she's smart, she's gorgeous. Somebody set off a smoke alarm. Go figure. We better get going. We're we'll getting this Pictionary. You're right. Let's go. Hey, that's not Pictionary. I love Halloween. So what did you think? Pretty good crew. I mean, cast. <laughs> so what did you think? Pretty good cast. There was a big boardroom scene. If you read reviews on this movie, everyone talks about this executive madman boardroom scene. It's pretty gnarly. How about I show you a couple frames from it? Did you like that? That's the projector. That's about all I can show you. Stephanie Swift is the leader in that. And it's like an all-star group of cameos surrounding Stephanie, including Bobby Vitale, which we just had in Rags to Riches, but also Peter North, Sean Ryder, Jake Steed, Vince Voyer, bunch of dudes. I'm just telling you about something you didn't see. If you've heard about this movie, or if you look into this movie, you will hear about this famous scene that we did not show you. My apologies. It's a PG rated show. Oh yeah, this is a rated PG. We got a lot of drinking, smoking, it's a Halloween party, some light language. All right, we got a bunch of couples going to a Halloween party. Julie Ashton and Michael J. Cox. Best name of the group. They're a couple. Maybe the lead couple, maybe not. Maybe it's Asia Carrera, and who's her? Alex Sanders. Asia Carrera, Alex Sanders, that's another couple. And then we have Jill Kelly, and my favorite, Tom Byron. Good acting, great acting. As you saw, talking heads. Talking directly to camera. Acting. These are six actors and it's shot on film, made by a filmmaker. So that's pretty damn good. Okay, Edward Brown, Edward Scott Brown, or in this film, Edward Durrell. I was reading a bunch about this director, but then at the easiest spot, in his little, little, like, little bio thing on IMDb, no, I think it's the bio about this movie on IMDb, talking about the director, they talk about the Venus Trap slash jackpot. Apparently this guy has a hidden masterpiece a brilliant lost suspense film the venus trap but you could only find it under that other name jackpot now i went through his writing credits his directing credits his producer credits and there is no jackpot 
and there is no Venus trap. So maybe it truly is. What was the pull quote? Brilliant lost suspense film. Maybe it's so lost. Maybe it's so brilliant that it's so lost. I don't know. Has anyone ever seen the Venus trap re-edited to a film called Jackpot? Has anyone seen Jackpot? I don't even have a year on it. BCA. Platinum Plus. Good job, guys. Thanks for the real movie. My version is a little weird. Uh, it doesn't really make sense, but... But happy Halloween! F***ing <laughs> retarded.